Panzer is a large mecha used uh, in war, and they're extremely mobile, which gives them an advantage. They're massive, can go over varying types of terrain, and can hold a plethora of weapons. The thought process behind Front Mission Involved and actually evolving the Vonzers dealt greatly with the user interaction and exploring what it would be like to actually pilot a Vonzer as an individual and feeling that rush of shooting these huge weapons and evading missiles and cannon fire. Vonzers in FME have evolved aesthetically, but as most users and new users will find out, we've evolved in control and sensitivity and sense of scale. For Front Mission Evolve, we were actually able to develop a set of new Vonzers that weren't already in previous Front Mission games. In collaboration with Square, we were able to develop a few new Wanzers that I, I think the fans will be really excited about because they have some really unique designs that we really don't see in previous Front Mission games. Front Mission Evolve has three different types of Wanzers. The biped is just your standard medium assault Wanzer, capable of carrying medium loads, medium-sized weapons. The quad leg is your heavy assault Wanzer. They can carry heavier loads, which makes them more powerful in battle. And the hover tank is the light assault. And they're more nimble. And they can float over water, which gives you an advantage in, in areas where there's rivers or lakes or anything like that. As far as weapons are concerned, there's anything from the machine guns, Uzis, shotguns, rifles, bazookas. They can also carry shoulder weapons, anything from a grenade launcher, rocket launcher, or missile launcher. The EDGE system stands for Emergency Defense Galvanosynaptic Enhancer. Basically, this gives the player the ability to slow down time and get an advantage over their enemies. So once they enable this, they can basically get in behind their enemies or dodge incoming missiles or bullet fire, giving them an advantage in a firefight. The customization options available for Wanzers is pretty robust. Uh, you can choose any Wanzer type. You can swap out both arms, you can swap out your legs, and you can swap out your torso type. And depending on what loadout you use, you can choose just about any shoulder weapon, hand weapon, and backpack type. When a new user uh, gets to customize their Vonzer, they're going to have a unique experience. They get to outfit it with decals, a variety of different parts from all the Vonzers that exist within our universe. Different paint jobs from uh, camo stripe to tiger stripe to digital. They're going to have access to a lot of different ways to make their Vonzer unique to them. So when choosing your Vonzer in multiplayer, you want to use uh, certain types of Wanzers to your advantage to gain some strategy while playing in multiplayer, especially if you're playing on a team. So for instance, you might want to use a quad leg if you want to use heavy weaponry when another player is using a lightweight Wanzer and they need sniping for you. So you would be able to use him as cover and you'd be able to go through the battle with your heavy weaponry while he snipes people from up above. Another example of uh, some key Wanzer customization strategy would be picking uh, instead of going with a heavy armor, trading up for a lighter armor that gives you more mobility. So you're able to quickly go around enemies in a domination match, quickly get to control points and try to take over a turret and hold down a position while you wait for your other comrades to come and assist you. It's to your advantage to, to think of some strategy before just jumping into a Wanzer and hitting the start button. I think Front Mission Evolve stands out from the crowd because of the level of detail that's been given to the Vonzers and the environments and the controls, the responsive controls that we've just never had an opportunity to play with in any other mech games.